Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about the new flounder regulations that Texas Parks and Wildlife released not too long ago. Uh, it kind of hit me blindsided. I didn't even get any alerts or emails or anything like that from Texas Parks and Wildlife from the apps that I download, like the Outdoor Annual. Nothing told me that this change was in effect. So this is going to be effective November 1st through December 14th. The official flounder run where everyone and their mom comes out to Seville Park, Texas City, uh, San Luis Pass, any of those, you know, those famous bank fishing spots or kayaking spots, the same boat spots, whatever, that people really target, you know, the southern flounder during that flounder run. Basically what it is, it means is that Texas Parks and Wildlife has put a bag limit of zero, meaning that you cannot take home any flounder from November 1st through December 14th. Prior to then and even after, the bag limit is five. So as of right now, September 20th, I'm making this video because this is when I actually found out about this information. The bag limit is still five. You can take on five as of right now, but when November 1st through December 14th is in session, the flounder run per se, bag limit is zero. So that doesn't mean you can't go out and fish. You can go out and fish and enjoy yourself and catch the flounder, but unfortunately you cannot keep any flounder or put them in the freezer. And I see this as a negative impact to a lot of anglers out there because I know a lot of you guys come from way far out like Amarillo or shoot El Paso, even Dallas to come to the Texas coast to take advantage of catching those flounders during that run. And some of them come out pretty big too. Like the, the females, I mean, they're thick and big with a lot of meat and flounder meat is absolutely delicious. And a lot of you guys love that. You know, I think a reason why perhaps Texas Parks and Wildlife made a bag limit zero is because perhaps maybe it has to do with that hard freeze that we had a few months back that killed off a lot of fish species. Speckled trout was affected, black drum, redfish. But honestly, I didn't really hear much about flounder being affected, but who knows, perhaps, um, you know, Texas Parks and Wildlife did find a bunch of flounder that were killed, or maybe perhaps it was a combination of the hard freeze and maybe um, flounder being overfished, which I think is probably more leaning towards that assumption. Uh, people keeping more than their bag limits. Perhaps commercial fishing was just taking a lot of flounder from, you know, the Gulf and, you know, through the Texas coast and perhaps it really, you know, diminished the numbers and sizes per se and just didn't have that X amount of time for them to catch up, reproduce and get big and stuff like that. So, I, you know, I see both sides of the story, Texas Parks and Wildlife side, that they want to preserve and try to increase the numbers and sizes of flounder for future flounder runs that's why they're nixing it for this year 2021 and then i see the side of the angler who doesn't really go out to the coast much and they look forward to fishing the flounder run and keeping fish you know it is what it is you know we gotta follow the rules i assume that texas parks and wildlife is doing it to preserve you know the flounder which i'm 100 percent behind because i'm a conservationist on the flip side as well as a outdoorsman so you know, you know, running a YouTube channel to ensure saltwater fishing, you know, I, I heavily rely on runs, especially a flounder run. And it's the time of year I enjoy myself catching flounder and bringing some home. But, you know, I, I totally understand. It's not going to stop me from going out and catching flounder. You know, I'm going to still catch flounder, but obviously I'm going to release them per law. But anyways, you know, I honestly don't even keep that much fish. You guys have been watching my channel. I release probably at least 99% of the fish I catch. I mean, there's once in a while I might keep a flounder or redfish, sheep's head, whatever. I might keep one for a catch and cook, but other than that, I release pretty much everything I catch. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this is going to negatively affect you. Uh, let me know your opinions. Do you agree with Texas Parks and Wildlife? Do you disagree? Uh, what, other, what other point am I missing? Perhaps maybe you can shed some insight on some other things that perhaps this regulation came to be. I don't know, just leave it in a comment below. All comments are welcome, free of speech. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to inform you. I feel like it's my responsibility as a social media influencer posting videos of fishing because my channel is all about fishing that I let you guys know what's going on. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.